this is the the white had been here for about I don't know four or five days uh, and a lot of it was mixed in like this piece here uh, creating sort of a I don't know what a, a almost cement out of the pine needles and other stuff the muck mixing with um, some harder surfaces created kind of a concrete of its own um, I swept up as much as I could, dug up as much as I could, and uh, hurt my fingers using a little wire brush. Because, um, although a lot of people are trying to convince me that this was, you know, like maybe somebody dumped some drywall or something like that, this is where it must have come from. Although I don't see any staining heading down, um, and I've been digging this up too and replacing it into the yard. Um, but yeah, and, and this leads almost directly down from where the power, uh, from, from where I spread her ashes. Uh, the, the only, the only possible solution that I have, I mean, you, you can think of a few things. First of all, no other year has this happened. All right. Uh, but weird stuff does drift down from the park sometimes. Usually it's bottles and stuff like that. It's possible there was some kind of a uh, thing. Now, some people suggested it was paint. That actually kind of looked like it, except that it's dry powder. If you look between the pebbles, um, I don't want to go back down, but if you look between the pebbles uh, in the driveway, it's all dust. It really very clearly is dust. So. Um, I, of course, tasted it because that's how people test things out. Uh, it was located originally in a fairly thick uh, circle around here. I tried to duplicate that, but most of it ended up there. <laughs> okay, uh, in those cementy type blocks. Um, but yeah, I, I tasted it to make sure that it wasn't paint or whatever. You know, just to touch a finger in and see it. And it, all, all it tasted like was kind of salty, you know? Uh, kind of like road salt, to tell you the truth. Um, other, other options are plaster or something. The only way I could see that, you know, their fence isn't uh, where I thought it was, um, is this house here. That could slope right down and get in there. Um, the majority of the drainage though comes, oh hi, uh, comes right down here. So in whatever, an abundance of caution or whatever, I mean drywall, plaster, it's not gonna do any harm to add that to my soil. Um, paint would be problematic. But you know, in terms of caution and everything, then the question becomes, okay, let's assume it is. What the hell do I do about it? What What is the, the decision here? Now, obviously I couldn't get all of it back up. Uh, you can see I couldn't, and quite a bit may have gone down to the storm drain. And one of my thoughts was, well, you know, uh, would it be better for it to have made it there uh, on its way down to the river? She loved the river, as do I. Um, but, you know, this is this is the place that we chose and she had a special affinity for this section right here like i said the enchanted forest and i just felt like uh, i felt like i had to do something about it uh, other than just let it wash away as quickly as it was um, and given how wet this area gets i mean this was basically a mud puddle <laughs> all around here um, which means anything that wasn't buried and I didn't bury it I sprinkled it uh, would probably have washed down and stuff that was lightly buried would probably wash down I lose a lot of dirt down the hill um, every year so it's not at all unreasonable to think, even if I hadn't seen that, that I was losing <laughs> her powder every year. Um, I wouldn't have bothered with it if I hadn't seen that visual um, 
distinction. And that may be because I removed some of the dirt from here, but I don't know. Something, you know, it, it, whatever it is that came down, and I really don't think somebody dumped stuff in my driveway and didn't leave anything that was evidential in that way. Um, I, I really do think it, whatever it is dripped down here, anything that drips down there, um, you know, sure, it's gonna get filtered by the mud and the, the dirt and the grass and whatnot, but if it's not actual dirt, if it's finer than dirt or whatever, and this seems to be a pale dust, uh, it will essentially be filtered through. And, you know, some of it may still be in there, but not much. And, and there's no, you know, there's no tracing or whatever. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, it makes me feel better to have done something, whether it's real or not. The other thing, what I use most of the dirt for, so I'm trying to build the uh, terraces here, <laughs> kind of like in Sicily or something. Uh, and I use some of my crap wood and, and stuff to help fortify it, which is why you'll see like a branch sticking up or something along those lines. Um, the reason for that is this hill is a horror to navigate, but the dirt that I put up uh, isn't as firm a footing. And I don't know, now it's awfully, awfully green. So it's kind of hard to see you know, where the pathways were. They were a lot easier during the winter and even last year. Anyway, uh, I just felt like I needed to give an update, especially since I scraped my knuckles trying to use a wire brush <laughs> right, <coughs> right against the stone. That didn't work terribly well. I didn't get much additional from that. But, you know, at least in my thoughts, part of her will be up here. Part of her will be making its way down to the river. And eventually it'll all leave. Um, but, you know, I kind of knew that I was giving something up when I spread the ashes, as opposed to, uh, you know, keeping a fucking plastic bag I could hug or whatever. Anyway, cheers.